Hey, what's up, divas? Happy New Year's. It's your girl, Chris. I want to start saying Chris because I feel a certain kind of way about Miss Chris. I don't know if I told you guys how I got the name Miss Chris, but it was really like I think I was setting up my YouTube page and every combination of the word Chris that I was thinking of was taken. So I had to put a Miss in front of it and then I had to put an additional S. Um, you know a, an additional s in my name just to make sure that my name was unique enough and that wasn't unique enough so I had to put the year that I was born in there so it was kind of a frustration kind of name choosing and I'm sort of stuck with it um but when people kind of meet me or when they talk to me totally 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 just call me Chris because it freaks me out when somebody says hey Miss Chris hey Miss Chris it just freaks me out. I know it's weird. So I'm going to stop saying, hey, it's your girl, Miss Chris, after I've already did like four videos saying it. But I'm going to try to stop saying that because it freaks me out. Um, but today's video is a little different. Um, this is my first Diva Discussions video of the new year. And I wanted to um, just sort of touch bases with you with some of the feedback that I got from you Divas out there. I put a post out a couple weeks ago on my Facebook fan page um, just really asking you guys, give me some topics about what you would like for me to, you know, start off with with my first Diva Discussions. And I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of great feedback from you guys. So the discussion that I decided to go ahead and start with was a discussion that kind of hit close to home. And um, I'm not going to say the young lady's name because I believe I told her that I won't expose her name in this situation, but she's dealing with the, an issue that is really, really common in a lot of relationships, and it was common in a relationship I've had in the past, so I kind of had... Okay, so um, the topic that I decided to lead the first Diva Discussions with... Um, was sent by a young lady. I won't disclose her name because of, I guess, the nature of this email. And it's kind of private, but I think that it is kind of a situation that speaks to a lot of men and women that are in similar situations that have the same concerns. Again, I felt comfortable answering this because I've, I've been in this experience before and I've had close friends of mine um, that's been in the situation before, so it's not a foreign concept, this, this little situation, but let's, let's see what she had to say. So she wrote, hey, Miss Chris, <laughs> my issue is I've been dating a guy for a year and a half. We're committed to each other. He's a great guy, but he refuses to say that he loves me or call me his girlfriend. I'm 28 and he's 35. I think it's time for him to grow up and talk about his feelings. Should I leave and find a man who is open with his emotions and would be proud to call me his girlfriend or stay in my current situation and continue to be the girl that he's dating and not girlfriend? So I'm not going to digress too much from what I wrote to her because I think that what I wrote to her is basically kind of clear cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and read to you exactly what I responded. I told her, leaving your great guy just because of a misunderstanding is drastic to say the least. The best advice that I would offer to you is to clarify your understanding of each other and your position in his life. If it is important for you to have that title, then I think that you should let him know that. See where his head is at. The worst thing that you can do is be complacent in your situation and assume your current position is intact, but you don't want to jump the boat either. At the end of the day... We all want to be with someone who makes us happy, someone who acknowledges us, respects us, care ab cares about us, and all those wonderful things. But think about how you want to bring it to him. Hope for the best, but expect anything at the end. Um, again, I say that this is a situation that is all too familiar with a lot of a lot of relationships going on, a uh, past relationship that I was affiliated with, I was totally not getting the recognition or the title that I thought I deserved. Um, to some people, the title is not important. For other people, the title is just that reassurance to everyone else that, you know, we sort of belong to each other. And if it's a big deal for that person that you're with to recognize 
you know, to the rest of the world or announce to the rest of the world that you are, in fact, his girl. If it's not really that important to him, then obviously you guys are on two different wavelengths and you're really not going in the same direction. But see if he even knows that it's an issue because sometimes it's just not an issue. Sometimes some people, I'm not going to say men as opposed to women, just some people in the relationship feel like, it's something that doesn't need to be said. I mean, you should already know that I'm with you. You should already know that you're with me. Why do I have to put a title on it? Again, most people know that they use that as an excuse to kind of do their own thing. They didn't put a title on it. They didn't say you're a boyfriend or girlfriend so they can kind of have free range and free conscience to do whatever it is they want to do. Um, a lot of people even take it even further and say, hey, that might be your, my boyfriend or my girlfriend, but he ain't put a ring on it so I'm single. It's a lot of kind of leave it up to interpretation kind of situations. And I think the clear fact of the matter, um, I think that what basically this person is saying that is, I need that acknowledgement. I need that vocal acknowledgement of my position in your life. And if you're not willing to give that to me, then I should move on. So again, my basic advice is just find out where the misunderstanding came from because obviously your expectations of this relationship and your your title in this relationship is not coming out of the blue. It has to be something in your characteristics. You know, CC is out in the background somewhere. Um, but your interpretation of this is defined by certain things, and my interpretation of this relationship is defined by other things. If our definitions are completely wrong, we can either come together to have an understanding, or we can just do it apart. But I would never, ever, 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 ever advise you to just assume everything is going to be this way and leave the other way. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think about this situation? Have you ever been in a similar situation like that? Um, do you know anybody in a situation like that? What would you do if you were in this situation? Go ahead and share your feedback below. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed at least this first edition of the Diva Discussions. I'm not, I didn't get too, 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 too deep into it because, again, this is a very, very common situation that seems more complicated than it is. It's really an easy solution, in my opinion. Hey, I'm not a PhD or anything like that, but I do know a thing or two about relationships, and this is probably one of the more simple catastrophes that can happen in um, misunderstanding a relationship. So, yeah, till next time, Divas, I will talk to you later.